So traditional deep brain stimulation therapy, which was initiated through the Medtronic system, was an open loop system. Essentially, you had a pulse generator device connected to an electrode that would give a current output. Some of the newer directions that we're seeing are these called smart DBS systems, which are closed loop, meaning they not only give output, but they can actually have local circuitry to detect the local brain circuitry and uh, provide that feedback into the pulse generator device, allowing for much more precise and careful and measured uh, DBS output for, uh, to modulate the motor output. So in the, this entire field of neuromodulation, we're looking at brain-computer interfaces. As a surgeon, I'm doing the most invasive. I'm making a hole in the head and I'm inserting an electrode into the deep brain structures to modify function. There's been a real revolution in these brain-computer interfaces in a field that we more globally call neuromodulation. In the field of neuromodulation, we see technologies that are ablative, but with not requiring incision. So some of those technologies include uh, radio surgery, such as gamma knife radio surgery, cyber knife. Uh, we see the use of high intensity focused ultrasound using intraoperative MRI techniques to focus the ultrasound and ablate that area. That's been very much an area of emergence for essential tremor. It hasn't caught on with Parkinson's disease, and then finally, some of the less invasive strategies such as transcranial magnetic stimulation, transcranial direct current stimulation. Uh, we even see things like non-invasive vagal nerve stimulation. So we see many of these transcutaneous non-invasive techniques. In transcutaneous magnetic stimulation, essentially you're, you're placing a magnet coil in the region of the head. You're trying to selectively induce, induce electrical currents to look for diagnostic and or therapeutic responses. With direct current stimulation, what we do is actually place electrodes on the surface of the scalp, much like an EEG, and induce currents to directly uh, stimulate that portion of the cortex.